Okay, very good morning. Actually, yeah, I do have to turn on the light. That is way too dark. Kablamo. All right. Oh, yeah, that is way. Yeah, because I actually realized just how dark it was outside because it's super cloudy. So, it's 7.30 a.m. I went to bed really early last night because I was just tired. That's what happens when you get old. And... Yeah, I had a very good night's sleep, um, and we're actually going to do something a little different today. I'm actually going to cover a project before I get into it, because <laughs> I, I think I think I do actually get a benefit if a bunch of people actually get into the project shortly after I do, right? So that's going to be FTM Crops Farmer. Plus, I just don't want to like just wait on the thing to launch and then do a video on it, because that's just annoying for me, so I'd rather just get it all done. So I only have like two projects today. I might have to subscribe to more YouTubers because um, I had to, because right now I'm subscribed to four people, right, for on uh, YouTube for content sources. And between all four of them, like, like Showtime hasn't even posted anything for like two days, all right? And, and not surprisingly, I also see a growth suffer as a result. Uh, it doesn't help that crypto is doing pretty badly right now. Bitcoin should be below 36k. Oh, actually, it is already below 36k. Yeah, Sphere is getting hit. The stock markets and the bond markets seem to do okay. And even the dollar is down. However, it's 7.30 a.m. So, I mean, people are just getting into Wall Street right now. So, uh, I don't know. I guess we'll see what happens. Because it's kind of weird. Crypto selling off. The dollar is off. Bonds are selling off, and stocks are kind of selling off too. So, so what is everyone buying? Where's all the like? They're because they're not holding on to their dollars, also. So, like, what's what's going on here? Are, are people just leaving the U.S. dollar? Like, that's the only thing I can think of. So it's gonna be a real shit show for a while, and. I don't know, I guess we'll just have to, uh, we'll just have to see what happens. Yeah, the MMRI, we haven't looked at this in a long time, but, I mean, it's about to push high or 200, so it's going to be pretty nuts. But, nonetheless, the show must go on, and I think I've actually have decided that I will not be moving to Florida. I'll be moving someplace else. You know, obviously, I'm not going to say where, but definitely not so much a right-wing area, um, <laughs> funny enough. Well, I'll still try to find something, uh, someplace safe, but some kind of, like, fiber optic. Because cause cable, you can get tracked, but with fiber optic, it always has to go through a centralized Fios-like building. So, yeah. So I have all my shit taken care of. The problem that I have, though, is the seizure of Russian assets by the EU. That's actually kind of a problem. I mean, it's, it's, right now it's a proposal, but, I mean... Basically, what they're basically saying is we can just randomly take your shit at any time. So, what happens when China takes over Taiwan, right? They're going to start sanctioning all Chinese people. And really, just Asians in general. So, I'm not liking, I'm not liking the direction things are going. And I even just found out that they're censoring left-wing people now. Uh, who are criticizing uh, the situation going on in Europe, Eastern Europe. So, it, it's getting pretty bad. All right, it's getting pretty bad, so yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I'll have to. Sh I'm gonna have to actually catch up on some content from Saint Nick to find out what's uh, what he thinks about a lot of the stuff. He's if he's even aware of anything. But he did get off the uh, fly list at least, so I mean that's something to work with. Okay. So there's some Rubik here. Ah, uh, okay. So I think when people said Rubik Finance, they might have been talking about Ethereum. You know, I don't do Ethereum, right? And after I had to dump all my congruent positions on Ethereum, now I'm even more convinced I need to avoid Ethereum. Because paying $200 for something that would have cost me like two bucks, right? Staking, approving, unstaking, selling, transferring. Yeah, that wasn't a fun time. Like I spent two hundred dollars. No, I spent one hundred fifty dollars. My other family member spent two hundred dollars on gas fees, but they lost a lot less money than I did. So you know, it all it's all relative. 
So, I don't know. There's a lot of stuff to really check up on. Uh, they have a decent sized following. Uh, I guess it's kind of real. I and mean, this is pretty decent engagement. I mean, it would be nice if I had this kind of engagement, but people hardly ever... Like, that's everything thing, too. And then we'll get into this cosmic finance. Like, I find it fucking annoying as hell that people don't follow me, they tag me, and they farm my replies to push their shitty fucking minor project. Like, I got... I, I like, I'm gonna definitely start blocking people that do that, and I'm definitely gonna report you. But, I mean, it has no followers anyway, so it's just a spam account. It really fucking pisses me off, though. You know, because, like... You know, I give a lot of value for free, and, like, nobody fucking helps me out. Well, except some of you, right? Yeah. And I don't even ask for much, right? Just to like and subscribe and then tell people about my videos. That's it, right? And on my Twitter, I kind of want the same thing, too. Like, can you, like, at least like and retweet my stuff? Even if you may not believe in it, just re like and retweet it. Right? And these fucking parasites can't be bothered to do that either, so... Uh, the people who are spamming their shitty, uh, you know, zero TVL projects anyway, or scam minor projects, but that's just how it goes, I guess. So anyway, uh, sustainable and credible. So this, I think, came from Yada Crypto, so I don't know who these people are, but, you know, they have their standard audits. Uh, it would be nice if they linked out to it. Uh, okay, here's their contract address. Great. Um, it basically looks like another, you know, typical one-page website, but they did put more effort into it because it does look better. As, it, as long as it looks, as long as, long as it looks like they put more effort than stupid Cami protocol, all right, then maybe you have a chance. I don't see a buy button anywhere, so I don't know if this project's live yet. I mean, I guess we could find out, right? They say this is their contract address, so they're on BSC, so let's see. Are they live? Okay, they are actually live. Now look at that. Well, alright, well I guess I'll be linking out to uh, their chart. Yeah, so it's already live and it's already down. Alright, so what are you? Um... They have a dynamic APY system, interest cycle of every 10 minutes, and a simple, okay. So they have a dynamic APY already. So they have a dynamic tax, they have a dynamic APY. Uh, well, they're multi-sig, they're a stupid DAO. Well, of course, freaking governance is bullshit. All right, so buy, sell taxes, 14, 16. You got your standard 2.5% auto burn. Uh, okay. Well, of course they're going to make me do uh, some serious hard work, won't they? All right, let's find out. What exactly is... Dynamic APY. So can you tell me what the APY is? Uh, is there sustainable proof? Do, 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 do. Okay, useless fork tokenomics. So they have an initial supply of 325k and they have a total supply of 3.25 billion. Okay, refer to dynamic APY. Okay, so this is their. Okay, good. Uh, Alright, so all right, I will link out to this. Okay, because this is the only thing that really matters is this. There's also a dynamic tax. Oh, wow. This is actually a sphere fork. Oh, so that's the nice thing about sphere is now everyone's copying sphere instead of titano. <laughs> so everyone's now using this dynamic tax system where, you know, just like sphere. All right. So... Okay, so how is this affected though? Like, how does it? How does the APY actually change based on what conditions? Uh, the APY value increases based on the amount of tokens traded every ten minutes. The APY value increases at double rate when there is a sell, and would reset to its base APY of nineteen thousand one six six point two seven every ten minutes. Uh, wow. 
what? According to the above formula, the rebase increases by one division for every trade of 0.2% of liquidity volume. If a 10 minute give, because th this doesn't sound right, you're, you're increased. So the more sell pressure there is, the higher the APY. That's stupid. It's supposed to be the other way around. If, if in a given 10 minute time frame, there are a total of 100 buy token, 100 tokens bought, and a sell token of 100, 100 tokens, and the liquidity is 1,000 tokens, then the dynamic rebase will be 150. The rebase will increase by 150 divisions, and thus the final APY will be 42,160. This rebase reset will reset when 10, okay. So this is done wrong. You, why would you increase the APY when the price is tanking? That's literally just going to create more dumping pressure. Oh God! So they had it. God. So they had it perfect, and then they screw it up by this. I mean, but at least it just goes back to whatever after ten minutes, so it doesn't. So it's not as bad, I guess. The dynamic APY is split would depend on the trading volume in any particular, but as we have upper and lower LC APY, the upper range of the range that always contributed. So the daily ROI for cosmic finance is 1.4 to 2.1%. Yeah, so that's actually not bad. So so right off the bat, we could actually see some kind of interesting things here. So <clears throat> so this is like a, this is actually like a hybrid between Sphere and Seifu, basically. But instead of uh, having a crazy high APY, it'll just be low and then high. I mean, I guess it, I guess they do it like this because you know it every ten minutes it resets to just the base nineteen thousand percent APY, so which is actually pretty low compared to everything else. So I mean, I don't know. That's kind of interesting concept. Um, I mean, the problem is crypto is under a lot of pressure right now, so. Everything's just going down. But with that being said, I mean, this has been out for a few days, and it looks to be kind of stable. All right. I mean, everything's going down, and this thing's actually doing okay. So, I don't know. I guess if you really want to spend a couple bucks and get yourself some Cosmic, this could actually do okay. All right. And this is probably, uh, you know, ripping off the uh, Sphere version 1 dashboard or whatever. I don't know if the dashboard on Sphere is open source, but if it's open source, then obviously everyone's going to be stealing their code. So there's really nothing here on the, you know, typical front page website. This thing is very distracting. We're at the graphic, but aside from that, I do actually like what I see here. So I'm not going to link to the dynamic text. I'll just say it follows the. It's a Sphere fork. So it's a mod. It's a mod <clears throat> It's a modified Sphere fork. Which is why it's called a fork. So, uh, okay. So at first I was kind of uh, not liking the the way that the APY goes up on more sell pressure because that's still technically wrong. But with that being said, I do like that the base APY is actually nineteen thousand one six six a year. Something very small, but it could reach a maximum of this. So I'm actually going to put in the YouTube title this two sixty five k. Uh, but this actually should be, I mean, this thing will still be under a lot of sell and dumping pressure like anybody else. But when you have such a low APY, like a lot of the time, I'm going to say like maybe half the time or most of the time, this should be pretty sustainable. It just means that like, um, like for example, let's take a look at these transactions. Yeah, there's not really a lot of transactions in the last hour, right? I mean, right now it's 7.43 a.m. Right, but look, I don't have to scroll down that much to find the end, the be first transaction for this hour. It's not really a lot going on here. So we look at the liquidity. Liquidity, can you see this? No, my camera's blocked. It says 590,000. This isn't really that much. So the APY still remains pretty low. So this is actually uh, pretty sustainable. Now the problem is high points still like dumped like crazy. So this could dump like crazy too. So we'll have to see, but you know, I'm really desperate for another Titano fork. Cause right now I'm all just about crops farmer and BND miner type of projects. I mean that's literally it. Then I have my sphere, which is also 
down 19 and a half percent in the last 24 hours because you know everyone's just losing their minds and it's very annoying so i don't know i guess the fed is like kind of scratching their heads right now figuring out what to do so i don't know or it could actually be the federal reserve actually dumping their uh, balance sheet hmm. I'm trying to force out this burp, even though I haven't eaten anything uh, this morning. I don't usually, I don't actually eat breakfast. I usually just wait till later, because I'm already uh, still plump as it is. So, all right. So I think that's that. I want to keep this video short. Like, subscribe, share this video around. Thank you again to all the new and old people watching this channel. Uh, make sure uh, you know we keep growing the channel. Push for it was like 1,600 subs. All right, let's just uh, yeah, just keep the train going. Um, I recently enabled thanks, so there is a way that you can actually just donate whatever you want to to, to whatever video on YouTube, and then supposedly I'll just get most of the money. That's what the YouTube super thanks thing is. I actually like that you can tip people's videos. So, uh, so that's a nice way for some of you who made like a crap load of money to actually help me out and give me some money because I actually could use the money. I'm still stuck where I am, right? You know, I mean, I've been telling everyone I live in New York City. So, yeah, I'm still stuck in New York City, but I do want to leave, right? So, I need your help, okay? Because, um, obviously, you know, Sphere is down way a lot. So, you know, whoops. <laughs> but, anyway, check out Cosmic Finance. Finance. Fi Cosmic Finance with a K, if you're interested. And I do actually like... That's an actual sphere fork. So it's got a lot of controls in place for, you know, sustaining the APY. So it should, in theory, dump a lot less than other Titano-type style projects. So it's still pretty cheap because you're basically at, in the beginning. So, I don't know. Interesting. I don't know. Do I actually want to buy some of this stuff? Funny enough, it probably would be uh, safer than Titano because I've been trying to stack more Titano as well, but... If the markets keep behaving the way that they're behaving, I mean, crypto is just going to be worthless, basically, because the markets are going just going, going all the hell. I don't know. I don't know. But this does not look like a bad project, after all. I don't know. Man. Two, like, $169 buys you only 66 Cosmic, because obviously this is like $2.54. Yeah, there's not a lot in open circulation, too. Hmm. You know what? I might actually consider buying some Cosmic, actually. Do I have, I don't have any reserves right now, because oh, I sent most of my reserves to Phantom last night in preparation for FTM Crops Farmer. And I'm not touching my AVAX. That's going into the Crops Farmer AVAX, because I know that they have to be thinking of coming out with that they're just not doing it now so but when they do you know i want to go in with as much avex as i can get my hands on um yeah i'm actually thinking do i actually want to add this project to because yada crypto covered this project and he's usually pretty good with trying to screen for some of the projects that he covers hmm I don't know. I don't know. What do you really think about this? What do you think? The problem is, this is the Fed momentum. Maybe we'll, you know what? Maybe we'll keep an eye on this. But, you know, if I remember, you know, leave a comment and just, you know, we'll see. We'll see. But, I don't know. I am kind of tempted. But I also know that if they're doing this, then everyone else is going to do the same thing, too. So, I guess we'll see. All right. I guess we'll see. All right. I'll see you in the next video. If you're able to log enough, like, uh, share, subscribe, hit the super thanks, right? You know, tip me some money in the video, all right? Even if it's like 10 cents. I mean, I don't know what the minimum is, but even if it's like a penny, believe it or not, I'll actually take a penny because if a hundred of you do that, that's a dollar. And then I can turn that dollar into like 10 bucks. And then that 10 bucks will become a hundred, all right? Like, I'm a serious p penny pincher, believe it or not. All right. I mean, not in real life anymore because I'm too lazy to bend over and pick up coins. Plus, it's a lot of money. I did find a dollar on the street one time, though. So that was nice. But yeah, Warren Buffett's actually the same thing, too. There's a story about him picking up a penny in the elevator and everyone was shocked. And 
all the Warren Buffett did was smile and say, this is the next billion. Yeah, so Warren Buffett's willing to penny pinch. Well, so will I, all right? So, yeah. So, yeah, so uh, hit that super, thanks. All right, thanks. I'll see you next video. And, my God, 20 minutes and 22 seconds.